Hello and welcome to part three of the screencast series about how to set up an awesome Python development environment. Uh, in this part we are going to discuss virtual ENV. Well actually just installing it. It's going to take another screencast to discuss how to use it. Alright, so the first thing we're actually going to install is a tool called pip. We'll talk more about what pip does later. But there is one feature of pip that we want to use right away. And that is pip freeze. And what pip freeze allows us to see is all of the Python modules that are currently installed and available to us. Whoa, that is a lot of Python modules. Most of those are included with Ubuntu. Now, are they going to really cause a problem for us? You know, probably not. But, you know, there is a chance that, you know, let's say you name, you want to name something xkit and you import xkit and you might have some issues, right? Um, at the same time, look, the Zope interface 3.5.3, .3, that's the current version that is installed in Ubuntu. What if I have one project that's using uh, Zope Interface 3.0, and I have another project that's using 3.3? .3? You know, if 3.5.3 .3 is the one that's installed, I'm going to have kind of a problem doing all of these different, you know, projects that use different versions of the Zope Interface on the same computer. And this is the problem that Virtual ENV solves. So let's install Virtual ENV. So this is pretty easy to do using Easy Install. We Easy Install Virtual ENV. All right, and now we're going to install the virtual env wrapper. The virtual env wrapper isn't actually required. You can just use virtual env on its own. But using the wrapper makes things a heck of a lot easier, in my opinion. So let's get that in there. All right, now we need to make a directory to put all of our projects in, because virtual env likes to keep all of its projects in the same folder. So let's make a projects folder, project. All right, and now let's uh, we have to edit our bash rc file to load up all the virtual env wrapper magic stuff. So let's edit our bash rc file, and at the end of the file, let's export work on home equal to tilde slash project, and then let's source which virtual env wrapper sh all right and now let's source the bash rc oh and we can see that a whole bunch of virtual env wrapper user scripts were created and we can also see that we now have these commands available to us like make virtual env and work on and if you have those commands available, then you know that virtual env and the virtual env wrapper have been installed properly. All right, that just about does it for part three of the Make an Awesome Python Development Environment screencast. In part four, we'll discuss how to use virtual env for wicked awesomeness.